once I feel complete again. I've been so sad that it's been gone. It just hasn't been the same. I think you're going to love this story. A little mystery in CUNA has been solved. Yesterday here on the News at 6, our Scott Evans told us about a diamond ring that was found by a city worker in a CUNA sooner. Now, because of that story, the owner has her ring back. Scott caught up with her today and has the final chapter to the story. When you're dredging Dredge Avenue, it's going to be hit and miss. Have you heard of anybody missing a diamond ring? No, I haven't. Wednesday was a miss as we sifted through Carrot Street, Gold Street, uh -oh. and Fool's Gold Street, looking for the owner of a gold-banded diamond ring. There was a diamond ring found in the sewer that came out of the subdivision. Have you heard anything about it? Michelle Rieger did not see the story, but definitely heard about it. That's because the ring is hers. I know. She lost it a year and a half ago. Oh, yeah, I flushed it down the toilet, yep. She stuck her hand into the toilet to go after it, but it was too late. It's the most luxurious item I've ever owned, and so it was. I was sick to my stomach. Rieger moved from CUNA a year ago and figured the roughly $6,000 seven diamond ring was lost in the sewers. I knew it was gone forever. That, of course, was until Wednesday night when some of her friends told her to go to ktvb.com. I was like, you're kidding. I said, I'm driving. Read me the story word for word. <laughs> sure enough, it was her ring. She picked it up Thursday morning at CUNA City Hall. And as soon as the lady said, can I help you? I just jumped up and down. That's my ring. That's my ring. That's my ring. Hours later, it was back on her hand. This is the ring. And you can see the diamonds are still sparkly as ever. After spending a year and a half with a substitute ring, Rieger's prodigal ring has returned. And the best part of it all is in June, I celebrate my 25th anniversary with my husband. So this has got to be the best present and the best day ever. Scott Evans, Idaho's News Channel 7. It's clean. Rieger plans to have the ring cleaned a little bit more and then have the band fixed up a little bit before she wears it again full time and she promises she's not going to flush it down the toilet again. Mm.